Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Wednesday webinar. My name is Stephen Ward, and I'm the head of product enablement here at New Order. Um, we're really excited to uh, go over a list of a couple different topics uh, pertaining to the admin part of the portal and uh, New Order's 4.0 rollout that we're all getting really excited about here, and we hope you guys are too. Um, so, so just to quickly kind of summarize what we're going to be going over today, um, we're going to be going over um, line sheets and uh, the different functionalities and features we've added and some changes we've made. Um, we're also going to be going over um, product gallery data exports and product for product data um, exports. So that that's something that we're really excited about. And then the next thing is going to be inventory um, and just giving a quick recap on what we've done with inventory, how we're going to be um, processing it on our side and some notifications you're going to be getting. So the first thing that I want to go over are line sheets. Um, since that's one of the most significant things that has actually changed um, from admin um, in New Order. So I'm going to go ahead and use my navigation over here to uh, go into admin. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that um, the user interface for admin is, is, is staying the same, um, except for a couple different changes uh, to these uh, specific selections. So, um, starting with line sheets, um, before it used to say manage line sheets. And now what you can do is you can actually manage the custom templates in here, but you actually create your, your line sheets in wholesale. And you'll see how that's beneficial in one second. So if I wanted to create a custom line sheet template, I can create those here, and I can actually manage those within here, okay? Um, so I'm not gonna be adding any products or any notes or any specific um, separators or anything of that nature um, in admin anymore. All, I'm do all I can do in here now is create custom templates, and uh, you'll see now that we're gonna move over to the wholesale side of the portal where line sheets are actually going to be created. So you'll see that by using the navigation, I'm actually going to go to line sheets here. And so now we're in the wholesale side of the portal, and this is where I can actually create my line sheets using, using our templates, um, whether it be our standard new order templates or the custom templates we've created. So the first thing I want to do is uh, go to create new here. And you'll see that there's a couple of different um, uh, notifications and directions and processes that this is going to take you through um, via um, highlights. So the first thing you can see is we want to enter our line sheet name here. And so I'm going to go ahead and do new order core. Okay. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a cover image to my line sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and either use a drag and drop or uh, just a selection um, here. So I can go ahead and select this here with my mouse, and I can add my cover image. And just so that you all are aware, you can still use the drag and drop feature as well. So I can always drag and drop it too. So now I've created my cover image. Uh, just a quick call out, you can actually delete this cover image whenever you want by selecting this red trash can button up here. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is create a description for my line sheet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and call this new order for products available now. And then the next thing that I want to do is uh, enable some currencies uh, that have already been enabled for this specific portal. So um, for the sake of this webinar, I'm going to actually be uh, using USD and GBP here. Um, you then are going to be able to select your template here. So you'll notice that all of our new order standard templates are listed on the top eight templates on here. But then most importantly is that any custom templates that you've created are going to be available down here um, on this selection. So if you've created one, you can always select it. Um, I love our five product landscape, so that's my preference. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to select some options for what's going to be on the actual PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and use inventory and color swatches uh, for uh, our PDF selection. 
Next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this active. So similar to what we had before, you could either enable or disable. So this is actually, you're just toggling between active and non-active. And this is used for if you're ever working on a line sheet and you want to, you know, just save it and, and come back to it later, you can always do that. Um, so in, the, in this instance, I'm going to actually select active. And then the next thing I want to do is start adding some products to our line sheet. So um, the first products that I'm going to go ahead and add is uh, I want to actually start putting our dresses first. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of our dresses here. So in different colors, I'm going to add here. Perfect. And so now that I've added my products here, I'm going to go ahead and add a separator. So you can either do that by here, or you can add a separator by selecting this icon here on the actual product. So you can add a separator before or after to kind of isolate that product. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my label. These are my dresses. And so notice that there's a couple of different key things on this line sheet. So from here, you can view the detail of the, of the product by selecting this button here. Um, you can add it to your shopping cart by selecting this uh, shopping cart icon here. You can add it to a custom list by selecting the star feature here. Or you can use your bulk action feature here, which allows you to add notes, copy the direct link to the product, uh, you can delete it from the line sheet or add a separator before and after to isolate it. Um, also, to note that you can actually uh, toggle between all the different colors um, with the color swatching here. Um, and also notice, too, that on the side, when you do select a product, uh, you can see the same things, add to order, add to list, colors, um, you know, your UPC, your brand name, your warehousing, and things of that nature. So now that I've actually created um, the line sheet with my cover image, the, the products and things of that nature, if I ever wanted to refine my line sheet by a specific um, filter, I can use all of the filters that I have set up here to refine my line sheet by simply selecting any of these. So if I selected pre-book, in this case, there are no items that are available for pre-book as you can see now. Um, and so if I ever wanted to refine any of any any of these products by any particular department or category, I could do that over here. Uh, this just makes the line sheet a little bit easier to manage and sort through when creating. And so now that I've created my line sheet, I've done my refining, I want to go ahead and send this line sheet out. By selecting that send feature, I'm actually going to go back real quick and show you. So you have your send button here and your download button here or your bulk action here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, send this line sheet. Um, so the campaigns, um, that was gone over last week, so everyone's caught up on what our campaigns are. It's a new feature and new order that we're really, really excited about. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and name this campaign the New Order Core Collection Campaign. It's gonna be based on the New Order Core line sheet that I've created, and if you ever had any other types of um, line sheets that you wanted to um, send out or base it on, you could select those here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and send an, an easy order with it as well. Um, I'm gonna put an expiration on it, um, as it here. So this is actually lets you know when this um, specific line sheet is in fact um, going to expire. So I'm gonna go ahead and Select it from a month out, which is going to be, there we go. And then we can select the recipient. So we can either do this based on a smart group that we've set up, uh, which was gone over in our last webinar. That is just a grouping together of specific contacts. You don't have to add them as uh, one-offs. Um, but in this particular instance, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a, three people that I wanna send this to. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my contacts now. I'm going to go ahead and put a subject to this. So this is going to be called the New Order Campaign Core Collection. And a message for recipients is please check out our 
core collection products available now. And I'm going to send this campaign. And it has been sent. So now uh, what you can also do is if I ever wanted to download this to take a look at this, I can select this download button as a PDF here. And what it'll do is it'll take you to a new page and it'll actually say uh, your, line, your PDF is being created or, or notification. And then what it'll end up looking like is how a PDF normally looks like, which it comes in this form here. So now navigating back, if I ever wanted to um, copy the link to this particular line sheet, I can do that here um, So using our direct linking, um, which is going to be gone over in the next couple webinars we have, um, which is a really, really um, great feature to use. Um, if I ever wanted to clone this line sheet, I could use this here. Or if I ever wanted to delete it, I could use this here. And so um, now that we've created our line sheet, we've sent it out, we've gone over how to download it. Um, I do want to note that when you go back to the actual line sheets here, they all are stored, um, you know, previously um, uh, as is right now. Um, you, you can see all of your line sheets within the, the actual line sheets tab in New Order. And, and same goes for 4.0. When you select line sheets, it's going to be able to show you all of the, the line sheets. And what I did want to point out is that any line sheets that are inactive, that haven't been selected um, as active, will show you um, this actual notification here, letting you know that they're not active. So that's really helpful in um, uh, creating line sheets and, and enabling them. Um, and then also too, just let, just to show you some more navigation on this, is that that same uh, navigation feature within the line sheet you can actually use, um, you know, on the line sheet display as well by selecting this here. Okay. Um, so the another quick feature too is that you can actually look at most recent, least recent title ascending or title descending for ordering. Um, the line sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and select the most recent. So the most recent line sheets I created are right here. <clears throat> and um, once I've actually merchandised those, that, that's great for, you know, kind of ordering these for your reps or being able to filter through different line sheets you've created. And so um, that wraps up the, the line sheets part of this webinar. So now I want to move on to um, our product gallery and how to do um, product data exports. So um, before I jump into that specifically, I want to show you as it is now in new order. So navigating back to admin here, and I'm going to go ahead and um, go to our uh, product data here. So you can still export your product data. Um, through uh, the admin feature here. Um, everyone has seen this and is familiar with this, which um, you know is great. Um, but now what's really, really amazing is that we can actually go to <clears throat> products in the wholesale side and then do a couple of different things with them that I wanna show you guys now, okay? So if I wanted to export a specific set of products. You can now do that in new order. So as it is today is you're actually, when you export, you're exporting your whole product data, you know, and we've gotten a lot of um, comments and feedback on the fact that, you know, if I only want to update, you know, 10 products, um, you couldn't do that. Well, now you can. So you can now export only that specific um, set of products that you want to edit or, um, you know, update and then import it back into new order. So I want to show you how to actually do that. So say I say for instance, I want to do export only our dresses because I know that our dresses are something that I need to edit. I can go through in my all products gallery here and select dresses. I can then select um, a particular product here and I can select then select all by using this action up here So now I can select all my dresses. I Can then go over to the actions tab here and I can either add it to an order Add it to a list 
add it to the line sheet or most importantly export it. And so I'm going to go ahead and export it. You can either include archive products or not include them. And then I can export it in a CSV format or a horizontal or vertical format. I'm going to go ahead and export this. And it exports here. Can open up my download. And there they are. And I can update these, edit these any way I want, and then import them back in a new order. And so what this is really made for is that on the fly, if you know that there are a particular set of products that you want to edit and update, um, instead of downloading all of your data to do that, you can just download the specific products. Um, through our testing, we found this so, so helpful. And so we're really excited that you guys can use this. Um, and, and you know, just to quickly recap, you can use all of the filters to refine it. Um, if you didn't necessarily want to use your filters and you knew exactly which products, you can just go through and select select those products. So if I want to select one or two and then just select my actions to export it, I could do that there. And so um, you know, we're really excited about this feature and we hope that you all get excited about it too. Um, the last thing that I did want to go over um, to wrap up the webinar is our inventory uh, downloads and uploads. Um, so I'm going to navigate back to admin here and going to go into inventory. So now that I've navigated to, to admin here, uh, this is our inventory section. So as it is today, you can still export your inventory from here and upload it here. But what's most importantly is, is through the upload now, um, we're going to actually be processing it on our side. Um, instead of it being processed um, on, on the portal side. Um, so the reason for this is that we had been getting um, some feedback that um, inventory uploads have been um, fairly large um, and somewhat time consuming um, and would often air out um, you know, during the actual uh, upload process. And it would, you know, essentially just be running and running and running. And then when it times out, you'd have to you know, refresh and re-upload. And so um, in order to mitigate that, what we've done is when now when you upload your inventory, you're gonna upload it here, but you're actually going, it's not gonna give you the same um, success message and error message down here as it normally does. It's actually gonna be sending you an email notification when it's been uploaded um, on and it, we're doing it on our side and so what's great about this is the fact that currently as it is today when you do an upload for inventory it's an all-or-nothing upload so if literally one product is aired out it's going to um, essentially negate all the other products and you're gonna have to re-upload after you fix that particular product so now since we're processing it on our side we're actually going to be uploading all of the inventory that's accurate and then not uploading any of the inventory line items that aren't accurate and giving you that notification error of all the um, items that aired out in order to fix those. So it's no longer an all or nothing upload. And so what I'm, we're really excited to, to do that for you guys and um, you know, hopefully um, just maximize your time so you don't have to sit around and wait for, for the inventory to upload. And also from an accuracy standpoint, um, you know, we're only uploading products that, that were correct and we're going to actually give you error notification, um, more of an exception based system um, email that you can go back and, and fix those products, um, you know, as, as you see uh, convenient. So um, that wraps up the um, items from admin that are, that are going to be changing in, in 4.0. Um, if you have any questions at all about this, you can um, email our heroes at um, neworder.com. Um, and we look forward to uh, enjoying this rollout with you guys and look forward to any uh, questions, comments, feedback, um, you know, as we move forward uh, in this process. And uh, watch out for our next Wednesday webinar coming to you guys next week. Thanks so much.